Hello all, welcome to Let's Learn Optometry. This video we will learn about the anatomy of lacrimal system. The lacrimal apparatus consists of three sections. The main lacrimal gland, the accessory lacrimal glands and the lacrimal passages. The main lacrimal gland. It is located on a depression on the temporal side of the orbital plate of the frontal bone. The gland is divided into two portions, the superior orbital portion and the inferior palpebral portion. It is divided by the aponeurosis of the levator muscle. Orbital portion The superior orbital portion is larger and almond shaped. It has four surfaces. The superior surface lies against the periorbita of the lacrimal gland fossa. The inferior surface rests against the aponeurosis. The medial edge lies against the levator and the lateral edge lies on the lateral rectus muscle. The palpebral part The palpebral lobe is one third to one half the size of the orbital lobe. If the upper lid is everted, the lacrimal gland can be seen above the edge of the upper tarsal plate. Microscopic structure The lacrimal gland consists of lobules made up of numerous acini. Each acinus is an irregular arrangement of secretory cells around the central lumen surrounded by an incomplete layer of the myoepithelial cells. A network of ducts connects the acini and drains into the one of the main excretory ducts. There are approximately 12 of these ducts which empty into the conjunctival sac in the superior fornix. Ducts from the orbital part of the gland accompany those of the palpebral part by piercing through the levator palpebral superioris aponeurosis. Accessory glands The accessory glands of Krauss and Wolfring are located in the subconjunctival tissue from the fornix area to near the tarsal plate. Although these glands are considerably smaller, they are structurally similar to the main lacrimal gland. It accounts for about 10% of the total lacrimal secretion. Compared to the upper lid, the lower lid has very few accessory lacrimal glands. Blood supply The lacrimal gland is supplied by the lacrimal artery, which is a branch of ophthalmic artery. The gland is also sometimes supplied by the infraorbital artery, which is a branch of the maxillary artery. The lacrimal gland is drained by the superior ophthalmic vein into the cavernous sinus. The lymphatic drainage of the gland is by the superficial parotid lymph nodes which drain into the superior deep cervical nodes. Nerve supply Sensory innervation is through the lacrimal nerve which is a branch of ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. Reflex tearing occurs with the stimulation of the branches of the ophthalmic nerve or in response to external stimulus such as intense light. The afferent pathway is through the trigeminal nerve and the parasympathetic pathway is through the facial nerve. The nasolacrimal drainage system Some tear fluid is lost by evaporation and some by reabsorption through the conjunctival tissue but approximately 75% passes through the nasolacrimal drainage system. The nasolacrimal drainage system consists of the puncta, the canaliculi, the lacrimal sac, the nasolacrimal duct which empties into the nasal cavity. Punctum. Punctum is a small opening in the eyelid that is located in a slight tissue elevation which is called the lacrimal papilla at the junction of the lacrimal and the ciliary portions of the eyelid margin. Both the upper and lower lid have a punctum. Each punctum opens into a tube called the lacrimal canaliculus. Lacrimal canaliculus. The canaliculi or tubes in the upper and lower lids that join the puncta to the lacrimal sac. The walls of the canaliculi contain elastic tissue and surrounded by fibers from the lacrimal portions of the orbicularis muscle. The first portion of the canaliculus is vertical and extends approximately 2 mm. Then a slight dilation, the ampulla, is at the base of the vertical portion of the canaliculus. The canaliculus then turns horizontally to run along the lid margin for approximately 8 mm. 
the canaliculi join to form a single common canaliculus that pierces the periorbital covering the lacrimal sac and enters the lateral aspect of the sac the angle at which the canaliculus enters the sac produces a physiologic valve that prevents the reflex naso lacrimal sac the lacrimal sac lies within a fossa in the anterior portion of the medial orbital wall this fossa is formed by the frontal process of maxillary bone and the lacrimal bone the sac is surrounded by fascia continuous with the periorbita naso lacrimal duct the lacrimal sac empties into the naso lacrimal duct just as it enters the naso lacrimal canal in the maxillary bone the duct is approximately 15 mm long and terminates in the inferior meatus of the nose at this point the valve of hasner is found this fold of mucosal tissue prevents the retrograde movement of the fluid up to the duct from the nasal cavity thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to let's learn optometry